heard that he was covered in uh, either oil or Vaseline and cocaine. It's crazy. And he was chasing around hookers with this baseball bat. Somebody told me that the escorts tried to rob him, too, and that's why he grabbed a bat. That's a sight to see, I'm sure. That Herb was uh, running around naked, smashing a baseball bat on the walls and in the office, chasing a couple of hookers with coke all over his body. On July 17th, 1996, a longtime friend visits Herb at his office in New York City. This is the last known recording of Herb Abrams. Hey, Herbie! Okay. Yeah, Want to look around here first? Yeah, we're looking. Wow. You know, I can't keep I can't keep the house together myself because it's it's just too much work. Are you happy? I'm very happy. I've never been happier. Okay. Never been happier. Can we be filming this, or is this supposed to be a? Uh, well, you didn't no get a release from me. <laughs> well, you're right. I just, uh, Herb appears to have turned a corner on his sobriety but his friends are left in the dark as he suddenly disappears. 96, when I, when I was working in the, the offices with him, sometimes, you know, he'd come in the next day all hungover. Sometimes he wouldn't even come in at all. Sometimes you wouldn't see him for a couple of days or hear from him for a couple of days. So that was just Herb being Herb. I was working at NBC, and I got a call from Stacy, my wife, and she says, Lenny, I have some really, really bad news. Sunny Beach called, and Herb's passed away. Herb's dead. So Sonny's crying on the phone. So I call Sunny Beach and I go, what is going on? Nobody knew what happened. And then his mother called me up and then it was just like a, a blur after that. I must have cried for like two hours. And it was just the uh, hardest thing to call those men and then to hear them all start to cry. These super gargantuan, strong men that you saw fly across the ring all cry over her dying and me not being able to almost talk. On July 23rd, 1996, officers respond to an unbelievable scene at the office of Herb Abrams. Details were sparse, and those closest to Herb would hear varying accounts of the disturbing events as they unfolded. It was kind of like how someone would say if they walked into his hotel room and saw him, you know, naked. That's, that's a real shock to some people. Okay, to me, it, that was part of his process of what he was going through. The night that I guess he passed away, he was partying, drinking, he had a couple of escorts up there with him. And I heard that he had done so much cocaine that he was whacked. And he found a baseball bat and started tearing up the room that he was in and just went absolutely berserk. I heard that he was covered in uh, either oil or Vaseline and cocaine. It's crazy. And he was chasing around hookers with this baseball bat. Somebody told me that the escorts tried to rob him, too, and that's why he grabbed a bat. That's a sight to see, I'm sure. So I call Sunny Beach, and I go, what is going on? And he says uh, exactly what it says in the tabloids, that Herb was uh, running around naked, smashing a baseball bat on the walls and in the office, chasing a couple of hookers with coke all over his body. He had baby oil all over him, and I guess somebody called the police. I heard somebody called the police on him. There's rumors like he got sodomized by police with their batons. I mean, I heard that, I'm going, what the hell? I guess one of the girls ran out of the office and just shut the door behind him, and I think he ran into it. And I think that's how he passed away. When the police showed up, uh, I heard he had a massive coronary and died. And what I'm told is that he took his clothes off in the jail, and he had a, a seizure. And, they killed him. You know, nobody knew if he was robbed. Nobody knew if he got beat, beat up with a baseball bat. So there was all kinds of stories going around at the time, and nobody knew the true story. Still, we don't know, because I wasn't there. So, you know, you never believe everything you hear. Chasing hookers around and, you know, all greased up and died in the back of a police car. The one thing I know is that Herb Abrams left this world doing what he loved, cocaine and hookers.